All right, new piece here. Ooh, nice. Definitely fast and snappy. <laughs> cool, I like it. Hold on, let me just bring this in. So I get the whole thing in there. Okay, hold on. This is cool. Definitely like all of this. That's all very cool. Yeah, that works. Good hang time here. The only thing I would say, he gets so stretchy here. Like I get you and exaggerate some of the moves. And I, I mean, he's definitely stretchy here and exaggerate. I don't know. It's very subjective. I buy all of this. And then once you get to here, that last one feels so rubbery from this, this into that, that I would reduce, but I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why. This is maybe a bit strong. I would probably reduce the amount of, like, it feels like you're doing, like really overstretching the middle part and it's only going over there versus not as high, like the nose would be maybe here and then reduce that a little bit to get a bit of a softer line of action in the head. That's all fun. Because he seems more on model, even this is a bit strong there. But there's something about being also on model there. Even this feels a bit almost broken in terms of how far you go. I would I would reduce the the nose and then you can stay somewhat with the head to be a bit softer with all that. Other than that, I think phew, I think you're okay. You can probably shave out a couple of frames. Depends how once you spline this. But I would probably go like two frames and then straight into that appearance. So it's phew, it's a bit it's super picky, but it's a bit of a long pause. Quote unquote long. <laughs> but I'll get into this a bit sooner. But I love all of this. I think once you spline this, I'm not quite sure like how far you want to go with the style. And if you want to spline this, like right now, the camera work, I would wait with how how early you truck with it. So that character is a bit there. Like the character is overtaking the camera and it's leading the camera move. And right now, we're just a bit too early in all of this. I understand that you're having all of this and end up here, but it can end up here as well. And then the camera can catch up and that's fine. Even this here feels we're going up too soon. Because he can also easily get to this point. And that's a clean, nice pose. And this is already cut off here. That's totally fine. Because you're not getting much out of that pose anyway. So you, you can be delayed with the camera and just be here. And then we get to this. Again, we're maybe a bit soon with the... Because it's so delayed here. With the tilt up, I would wait. Then you can catch up there. And even here, we're going a bit too soon. So make sure that character drives the camera just a bit more. And I know we want to get there and see this. But you can be okay cutting it off here and getting to this with a bit of a faster tilt down. That's not too bad. And that's kind of that. Other than that, I think it works. Like picky things, like again, depending on how far you want to go with the spliny aspect of it and, and the breakdowns, but like that thumb lines right there with the uh, forearm, a bit of a tangent, there's a tangent here. Not too bad through there. But then you got that wrist with that sleeve. I would just look at lines, how lines form and where, where you form temporary tangents, even like over here a little bit. But that's like, you know, the last like 2%. Other than that, I do like all of this because you also don't have too many repetitions here, right? You got to stretch into this. I mean, this is knees up, arms up. But in this pose, it still feels different enough. It's a bit similar. I'm going to draw here so I have a bookmark. So this could be potentially a different pose, just to throw that out there. You do have that, which is really fun. Love all of this. That's all fun. I like how he looks up there. Probably, probably with this, I wonder if instead of this and you stretch out so far, not that it's wrong, it can work. It's such a stretch out where it's not like a jump into something. 
what if the other leg is here and it's more of a I'm I'm reaching forward with my arms to then almost roll into something to then roll finish jump into this just the thought I know it could be destructive so I'm gonna throw that out there and he gets into this so once we get to here I think you might also be okay with so much momentum and the camera follows and recovers that you can end up here that's also fine do all of this okay this will be tweaked but then at the end we are a bit recomposed here but so it's a bit more in the thirds just a tad but especially here i think it's okay to kind of recompose a little bit it's mainly that it's really fun Love all this. Again, the, the timing and the, the, the playfulness and all of this is really neat. You can probably play with expressions a bit more where he's like this. This feels like, ah, he's ready. And then it's just, it's kind of the same, but just uh, pushed in terms of that curve and the openness of the jaw versus he gets to here. And this could be like... <sighs> Like, well, what if it's like, ooh, shape, like, ooh, I'm ready, I'm ready, ah. So you have a bit of contrast of, ooh, ah, versus, ah, ah. <laughs> if that's the sign I can make, you know what I mean? Just the thought. And that may be a bit straight, I think, once he goes, oh, man, could be either you're aligning with this and it's a tilt, or it's a tilt back, like, oh, man, I don't mind a tilt back because that's the box, but he doesn't like it, so he's disengaging from it, so he's moving away from it, so the head is tilted back, so you can have maybe, you know, a bit of a, see how far it can go until you break it, but tilt that head away from it a little bit, that could be something to him. Alrighty, that is that, thank you. All right, there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions, either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.